Good morning, my friends. Who's ready to see an STI fully wrapped up? Now I know that's a big statement. I'm not, I'm not so sure that this thing is gonna be 100% completed today, but of course we're gonna get as close as we can. <clears throat> so yesterday we got the entire passenger side wrapped. Fender, door, door, side skirt, cord panel with the pillar, gas lid, door handles, that trim piece there, and it looks absolutely amazing. The wrap we're doing is called Jumbo Snow Camo. Metro Restyling is where I got it from, and this is the gloss, gloss version printed on Avery Vinyl Wrap. Now, if we truly want to meet our goal of getting this full thing painted today, we need to use the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake out the hood, the trunk, and the bumper, and as with most paints, you can just let it dry right just leave it out let it dry it takes a while or you can do a force dry at around 140 150 degrees and if you bake it for about an hour all of the solvents escape from the paint let it cool down and you're good to wrap well i knew this paint had some problems i did not know it was this bad so this is what happens when you do not properly prep your vehicles i started getting this thing cleaned up i got the trunk in the oven to uh to bake that paint This is what you would call a freaking nightmare. So basically, what I'm gonna have to do is go around and keep blowing on the paint until it quits flaking off. Because the last thing I want is to lay down the vinyl wrap and then have to go reposition it and it peels paint. So it looks like that area is good to go. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab some sandpaper, this is 400 grit on a block, and just flat sand this out. Just feather that edge back in. <sighs> What a freaking joke. I feel like I'm building one of those Facebook marketplace cars right now. You know what I mean? Where she got problems, you just cover it up with vinyl wrap. This thing definitely needs a full, full paint job if it's gonna ever be unwrapped. Thankfully the wrap that we're doing does look good. But still, underneath, it's not gonna look good whatsoever. Feather that edge out. What I'm gonna do before we lay down this whole entire side is I'm just gonna take a small piece of vinyl wrap and apply it over the section just to make sure it's gonna look good. I don't want it to look noticeable underneath the wrap. That affected area is all sanded down and then a ton of paint, clear coat and base coat blew off up here as well. You know how I always say prep is the most important part of a paint job or a powder coat job or a coat job or a wrap job or anything in the world? This is a real world example of what happens if you do not prep your car properly before you paint it. So I got 150 right here. I'm just gonna rip all this junk off here and then I'll sand it flat with a 400 so you don't see any sand scratches underneath. Okay, I'm all done prepping this side out as far as sanding goes. We gotta sand that. Sand that, front of the pillar, top of the pillar, rear of the pillar. And we have one section left. You can see that it was like a little dent or something here. I'm gonna do a little bit of filler work right here, but I need to get this roof trim off first. What I thought was gonna be a nice, quick, simple, well, let's just wrap this car real quick. It's proving to be not the case. These trim pieces are pretty easy to remove. You see this little tab right here? You press on that side, press on that side, and that releases it. The passenger side, of course, I sacrificed the clips to figure out how they work. So let's start off with some compressed air and blow until it doesn't flake anymore. Oh my gosh, this whole quarter panel might peel.
I'd rather deal with this now versus when it's being wrapped. That would be a nightmare. Quality. Don't you just love quality work? And sand this out with 150. Like I said, it might need a little bit of filler work. I guess we'll see when I sand the 10 inches of paint off of it. That'll work. No filler needed. That'll work fine. We got it all blown off and sanded down. As far as the driver's side goes, I think that rear bumper is gonna be a whole freaking animal. I'm not sure if the whole thing's gonna have to be sanded down or what exactly we're gonna do there, but let's get the side ready to go. What we're gonna do is get it up in the air. We gotta get that side skirt all the way off. I wanna pull that front wheel off so it's not dangling around in the way. Rear bumper still needs to come all the way off. Door handles are staying on. Rear flare staying on. So everything can be matched with the camo. We don't want anything weird looking. And then we do need to get the front fender installed as well. Heck yeah. Instead of using the OEM Subaru clips, I bet you can guess what they used. Definitely not a self-tapper. There's no way that someone did this quality of a paint job would use a self-tapper. There's no way. Alrighty, last thing to remove is the rear bumper. Now I'm not gonna be laying this whole side down by myself. I'm gonna wait till Cody comes through again and we can lay it down together. Laying one massive sheet that's like 12 feet long is a little bit hairy by yourself. It's possible, it's not hairy. All right, let's talk about prep for wrap. Now this thing's pretty freaking crusty, so of course, after all the sanding and whatnot, it's quite filthy. There's gonna be a couple different steps. First step is I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this whole entire side down that we're about to wrap with wax and grease remover and a microfiber towel. Now, of course, I just feel like skipping this step. It feels really, really pointless to go through and clay it, but we want this wrap to turn out as best as possible. So this whole side is gonna get clayed. Okay, last thing to do, and this is gonna happen right before we go ahead and lay down the wrap, is a good wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. In the meantime, while I wait for my boy Cody to get here, I'm gonna go ahead and lay up the wrap, get it trimmed up for the side of the car, and then I'm gonna cut off the bottom section for the side skirt, and we can start tackling little things like the skirt. I don't know how back in the day, I did whole sides of cars by myself. I know it's possible, obviously, but just very stressful doing it all by yourself. Where did the car go? Can't even see it. I'm gonna trim it. And then we can roll back up and we're good to go for later. So there is our length for the side of the car. Slide her up, make sure we have ample coverage everywhere. I'm gonna trim off all the excess, specifically the side skirt section that we're gonna use right now, and then I can roll this piece back up, and we can start tackling the side skirt. So here's our skirt. I see a little bit of flaky paint up here. Go ahead, blow that off as best as possible. We're gonna sand that completely smooth, go through and pressure wash and clean the rest of the side skirt. Good old wipe down with alcohol and then we can wrap. We need to get the wrap laid into this section first because if we wrap it there, wrap it there and then just press it into that section, it's most likely gonna fail. Well, it definitely will fail over time. So, we gotta get that laid first. So I have it bridged on this top line here, on the top hard line, 
lifting up on the bottom and just letting it drop down into that belly. Just so there's no sort of stretch going down in there. Okay, hard part's done. Well guys, we are gonna be wrapping this thing solo today. My boy Cody's gonna be at work for pretty much all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the side down by myself. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I've done it before, it means I can do it again. So I'm just gonna roll this piece up, get it off the car, and go ahead and get this thing recleaned. Toss in a few bolts so our fender doesn't go flying off. Blow it off one more time with some compressed air. And we're gonna run through with IC, with IPA. Make sure to get all of the backsides of the doors where everything's gonna be tucked in door handles, everything has got to be 100% spotless. I like to do the face of everything first and then run back through and do all the jams and whatnot at the end. Now the easiest way to get inside of the seal right here or any seals to get them clean, take the hard edge of your squeegee, wrap it around the towel. This is full IPA. Just cram her in there and wipe till she ain't dirty. Perfect timing, bro. Do you want to help me lay this down? Sure. Remy, look. Damn. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I thought this was the camo wrap. <laughs> it looks like it, huh? It, that, that, hey, you're going to get all dirty. Yeah, this, I yeah. I just took compressed air and everything was just blowing off. I'm like, nice. I thought this was the camo wrap at first. It looks like, like it. Okay, so. At least it's not more. Yeah. Is it all good back there? All right, we got the expert Remy here to help me wrap. Now what? <laughs> it was easy yesterday with three people. Just like peel all the yeah. backing off till here. And that's then. what I would do. I think that's what I usually do. With three people, it's easy because you can yeah. just do it all at once. I should be able to get the front if you want to make sure she don't hold on herself back there. A little bit of repositioning now. I would start like right here. Let's just do the doors first and then work right out. Okay. So as you can see, there's some wrinkling up in here. We wanna fully glass this out. So if I take these wrinkles, take our vinyl, get those wrinkles out of there. These ones running this way. You'll pull that way to get those out. We just need to run around, make sure she's fully glassed out, then it makes wrapping so much easier. Vinyl is fully glassed out. Now I'm gonna start on this body line right here. This body line runs the whole length of the car and I'm gonna pretty much go panel by panel being that this is Avery, it's a very easy film to work with. And there's not a bunch of excess vinyl anywhere, meaning it's fully glossed out. This is gonna lay down super, super easy and nice. So let's just start with this rear door. Start at that line there and just work our way up. Now being that there's a pretty big valley in the quarter panel and the top of the door right here, I'm gonna pull this vinyl back And I'm just gonna let it relax right into that valley, just so it ain't stretched in there. Stretch it too much, it starts discoloring, and it will fail early. Same concept with this valley right here as well. I don't want it stretched in there, so. Just pull the vinyl back, let it fall into place. The whole entire side is completely wrapped. Every single square inch minus the door handles, I'm gonna save those for Cody because he did do the other side. Not exactly sure how he did it, so we can save those for him. Everything is wrapped, time to go through and trim it all up, cut it up, and get everything tucked how it should be tucked. So let me grab a knife. We have a little bit of excess vinyl right here. I didn't lay down because as soon as we make a cut right here, that'll be super easy to deal with. So go ahead, take our squeegee. You 
easy enough. So for this cut in between the two doors, I'm gonna be cutting on the back side of the front door with a very, very sharp blade. And I'm gonna be cutting at an angle like this. If we cut it like this, there'll be a white line exposed. If we cut it like this, there'll be just a tiny sliver to tuck on the back side of the front door. And then it'll, this quarter inch or so will fall into the rear door. Same exact concept on the rear door. We're gonna cut on the back side of the rear door at a slight angle so we do not see, even though the car is white, we got that going for us, but I'd rather have it tuck and fall into the door jam. Other than the door handles, this entire driver's side is finished up. Alrighty, let's take a look at the bumper. Front is gonna be easy, it's just bare plastic. Rear is very clearly peeling very badly. Line right here. We should cut straight in the middle and fold them out and place it on the to where we can move it where it's perfect and then pull the BHP tape right from under it. Looks like it fits pretty decently. Kind of do it like a bumper. Mm -hmm. Just stretch on this body line all the way around that corner and just pull it from here down. But we're gonna have to get a, a good stretch. So we'll probably apply a little bit of heat. I just want to get it tacked up there. We'll tack the center and then work from Right side to left side. Unfortunately, we are not gonna reach our, or meet our goal of getting this entire car wrapped by the time our mechanical parts come in, but we'll be close. So if I can get this scoop done tonight, which I know I can, tomorrow all that we're gonna have left is the front and rear bumpers. This rear is a straight pane. I debated just buying a new one because all this paint is flaking off, but it's about halfway sanded down. I'm going to grab some 180 tomorrow and just rip the majority of this paint off and then go back over it with like 400 or 600 to get it smoothed out. But it just keeps flaking off as you guys can see right there. Front bumper is ready to go, but let's knock out our hood scoop. So here's the plan with this because of course it can't all be one piece. I'm going to do a what you'd call an inlay right here. I'm gonna do that first and then one piece over the entire thing. Took a couple different tries, but the inlay is finished up. Hopefully that is gonna work well. Let's give it a shot. Took me a couple tries, but the hood scoop is 100% complete and it turned out literally perfect. And installed on the car, everything seemed to line up pretty decently. It looks really good. Well, what is that, day four? Day three or day four coming to a close on the good old mini STI project. I love the fact that what would have taken me weeks in the past, I'm just knocking this thing out and like, it's gonna be like five, five or six days total. Provided we can get this bumper, the rear bumper, completely sanded down properly in the morning, quickly. Cody and I are gonna knock out both bumpers together just cause it's so much easier to wrap a bumper with two people. And the bumpers are the only things that we have left to wrap. Everything else is completely finished up. And then mechanical wise, finish up the steering rack. Those parts come in tomorrow. Shift your linkage, those parts come in tomorrow. And this thing's pretty much done. I do, I probably will do something with the wheels and the brakes on it. I'm not the biggest fan of how the bronze is looking on the snow camo. I'll probably go through a little bit darker of a wheel to kind of complement the black roof that we did. And there's gonna be a couple, couple other little black accents on the car as well. So that'll look sick. And then brake caliper color. I know it's a limited. They're supposed to have black calipers, but it doesn't look all that 
nice or like it looks nice but not poppy enough i don't even know maybe even uh nah, the factory gold would look a little bit silly maybe a evo red might look nice maybe a yellow i don't know comment below what do you i'm gonna leave this one up to you guys what do you think say if we did like a gunmetal or black wheel right what what are we doing for the calipers comment below this one's on you boys so don't don't steer me in the wrong direction here hope you guys enjoyed peace out my good friends cody if you're watching thank you for helping out i appreciate you sir and your rapping skills and i'll see y'alls in the next video this thing's gonna be done and driving tomorrow. I'm excited to surprise Bobby because she knows how clapped this thing was. Not clapped, no, nah, let's be honest. This body is clapped. Paintwork, clapped. Dent-wise, mint. Paintwork, absolutely clapped. Whoever painted this thing, you should be ashamed of yourself.